We believe that life is like a bubble. The breath of life is given at random and at any moment can be taken away, blown only to burst. But what a beautiful joy your form gave to the many of those who encountered it. How strange a bubble is. Ilo increíble que es. Coming seemingly from air and soap, yet creating such a microscopically perfect form. We are muy diferente. We are all unique and our patterns diverse. But we are all beings nonetheless. Somos humanos. And how beautiful is that? Fifty years ago, the year was 2925. It was the year of the Ascendance. The wealthy transcended their physical form and relied on surgery and new medicine like they had been doing for hundreds of years to become Las Personas Muñecas. The doll people, unhuman, inhumanity, psychology, and form. What they left behind was underpopulation, lower classes, and intellectuals who disagreed with their hyperbolic Eurocentric standards of unnatural beauty. Before the Ascendance, no one but the pale doll people was celebrated. Beauty became wealth, and wealth became scientific advancements. The new humans were now allowed to connect with what was left of nature, able to go outside instead of being tied down by their professions and class. Their leaving and existence was not entirely without meaning. The new humans learned from their mistakes, and their mothers and fathers created a polar opposite society. We became some of the first enlightened beings in history. There was no power no privilege, no prejudice. The ones we had to fear or dislike were now gone, and gone forever. All racism, ableism, homophobia, classism, and sexism could no longer exist because the playing fields were so equalized. But then, how did we come to see race? Race, for the new humans, became obsolete. We were able to see it for what it was, an imaginary social construct meant to divide. But unlike Las Personas Muñacas, we were not colorblind, nor did we ignore the historical struggles of those who came before us. Race became a genealogical journey, a beautiful aspect of each bubble's soap and chemical composition. Even though we may hold the same form, our origins are varying. Firstly, we acknowledge Africa as our genealogical birthplace the beginning of all human existence and life. All three identities equally contribute to what makes our journey so fantastic and beautiful. Birthplace, East Africa. Journey, Mexico and Trinidad. Panama and Germany. Norway and Austria. The Philippines. Destination, North America. Destination, China. Birthplace, East Africa. Birthplace, East Africa. Journey, West Africa. Trinidad and Tobago. Journey, China. Destination, Taiwan. Journey, Ireland and Poland. Poland, Ireland, England. Destination, North America. Destination, North America. What made us the most enlightened was our ability to see what was put in place to harm and separate us. The old people were fed distractions in order to separate their sense of reality from what the world was really like. They were fed with legal addictive substances that dumbed them down, made them dependent, or even killed them while the shamanic natural uniting substances of the previous cultures were forbidden by those who knew their power. 
Those with a European journey who were anti-enlightenment took this part of nature away. The incorporation of these organic compounds and more back into society assures that nobody is to play maker with nature. Mescaline, psilocybin, cannabis. New shamanism became a new return to ancient customs. Taken away because old humans feared enlightenment and unity. A psychological journey into the psychedelic. With no direct religious ties or meanings. And as our national anthem calls for us to lift every voice and sing. It's never too late to receive enlightenment. Greet and embrace your ancestors. Embrace the beauty of your mind and critical thinking. But to begin, you've got to open your eyes to the true nature of the system. Buenos dias.